Good morning, my name is John Darwin, I come from the Socialist Republic of South Yorkshire. <laughs> and my story is, uh, it's entitled um, The Autobiography of a Mindfulness Community in Eight Short Chapters. You may recognise the homage. It's shown up here, and this is the more or less accidental creation of a community over the last seven years, coming out of more than 400 people who have done the course that I started teaching then in mindfulness space life enhancement, and who have continued to be a growing part of a growing community. Incidentally, the, uh, the board game will be available soon. It's a sort of mindful ludo. <laughs> I'm going to look at one of the developments that's mentioned there, and this is an extract from chapter 7, Mindful Aging. Unsurprisingly, in my 71st year, I have a strong interest in this. How can mindfulness help address the process of aging? There is a tendency, even in mindfulness circles, to see aging as a tragedy, with all the negative connotations associated with the common stereotypes of ageing, which are sadly transferred into self-stereotyping in many people as they age. After initial research on this, I developed a course in mindful ageing specifically for people who had already done mindfulness-based life enhancement. In this course, we address the way that language distorts the image and self-image of elderly people, and explore ways in which mindfulness practices can address this. This is part of a much wider exploration of ways in which mindful ageing can heighten and maintain mental and physical well-being, enhance life through mindfulness, realign toward the positive, challenging stereotypes, and open to new possibilities and beginnings. I'll let you work out the acronym there. Heighten, enhance, realign, open. This is a very different perspective to aging from one which sees it as a tragedy. It is aging as jubilation. Mindfulness practice has much to offer people as they age, and there is a need to ensure that this is adequately addressed. Conventional courses can prove very helpful but there are also specific themes, in addition to language and stereotyping, which merit special attention. For example, the importance of attention itself, the relationship of mindful movement to the aging process, playfulness and creativity, savouring and awe, reminiscence and reframing, and a mindful perspective on the past and future. Shinryo Suzuki, who you will know from Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind, was once asked in a class, why do we meditate? And he said with a smile, so you can enjoy your old age. <laughs> so there's half a chapter. If you want the other seven and a half, please buy the book. <laughs> 